the budget is a cap on rent hikes and a tax cut for apartment building owners. CTV's Nick Moore continues our coverage. Retroactive to January 1st, the provincial government will cap any rent hike at 3.8%. This is a one-year cap at, uh, at CPI, which is 3.8% last year's CPI. I would only commit to one year at this point, and we'll see what, what happens. There's an awful lot of stuff going on in the world, and it's hard to predict where we're going to be. A review is built in, and they will have to proactively kill it if they, uh, if they decide to. While a rental cap may bring relief, more was being hoped for. For Acorn, we initially have been calling for a 2%. That was kind of like the bare minimum that we thought the government could do. It would be great to see it be lower, but that's where we're at right now, and it will be interesting to see how they actually are going to implement it. The provincial property tax rate will be cut by 50% for a non-owner occupied residential property. However, it's done over a three-year period, meaning that uh, there will only be a decrease in uh, taxes of approximately 6%, while they've increased assessments by 30%. So the, the big picture is taxes are going up tremendously for uh, landlords. Uh, after this announcement this year. If we look at the double tax, um, that is concerning that that's being cut by 50%. You know, that's basically what this does is it puts more profits into the pockets of landlords and can incentivize them, um, especially financialized landlords and real estate investment trusts to purchase more housing, which presents issues of affordability. $6.3 million has been earmarked for affordable housing in the provincial budget. Nick Moore, CTV News, St. John.